So, hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to make a brief um, status update about the VKMS. I mean, there's like two years that we don't talk about VKMS here at XDC, and you know, a lot has changed in VKMS since then. So let's make a small recap and talk about the news uh, at VKMS. So what is VKMS? VKMS stands for Virtual Kernel Mode Setting. Um, it's a software-only model of a KMS driver, so which basically means that you can emulate a KMS driver using software. It's very useful when we want to test an application and compositor, and we don't have the hardware needed. We don't have. Uh, we are on a headless machine. Uh, VKMS is a community project, so uh, all the maintainers are volunteer, and we are really thank for everyone that. Uh, contributes to VKMS and is GPU vendor agnostic, which means that we really rely on the DRM API, not in any specific GPU vendor uh, stuff. So the first thing that really changed in VKMS recently was the performance. We had like a huge performance improvement uh, in the couple of months. Um, performance was a major problem in VKMS because you need to make the composition and the blending on software, which can be quite slow. So we were able to improve the performance in, in about 30%, which is awesome because now uh, all planes are blended at once and we make the blend calculus per line instead of per pixel, which was a major update. Also, we had a memory consumption update because we used to need the whole image at once, which means that we needed a buffer from width and height. Um, and now we only need two lines um, with size of a width, which means a memory consumption of two width. And this also means that we have like less IGT timeouts because due to the performance, we had like plenty of IGT timeouts and now they are pre pretty rare, so this is really awesome. So thanks Igor and Pekka for working on this nice feature to VKMS. And about the composition, um, the composition used to be executed on top of the primary plane, uh, which means that the primary plane needed to be enabled, needed to be visible, and needed to be the same size of the CRTC, which is, doesn't allow us for many flexibility. So now the composition is performed on top of a black background with the size of the CRTC, which means that now the primary plane can be positioned anywhere, can be disabled. Um, I mean, you can even make the primary plane not visible. This means that now we have more IGT tests passing, which is really important for VKMS because there are a couple of IGT tests that demands um, the primary plane to be positioned. Also, now we have a full alpha blending on all planes because we used to use the primary plane for composition, so we couldn't make a uh, um, full alpha blend on the primary plane, and now we can because we are doing the composition on top of the CRTC. And we have brand new features as well. Uh, first, multiple overlay planes um, we used to support only one overlay plane, and now we support up to eight overlay planes, which is great. So thanks, Jose, for um, this, com this feature, adding this feature in VKMS. And now we have support for five formats. We used to have support for only two formats because um, formats were really attached to the composition and blinding, like the code was really uh, mixed together. And Igor worked in decoupling those two features. And now, in order to add a new format to VKMS, you need only to add a function, which is great because it's much easier. You can only focus on the logic that you need for the, that format. You don't need to you know, think about changing the composition and blending. And we also had new features, such as plane rotation. Uh, it was one of the first um, playing features that we support. Now we support all rotations and reflections in our planes. And we had support for 1D gamma LUT with interpolation for each color channel. So thanks, Arthur, 
for working on such a nice feature. And we have more IGT tasks passing. Those uh, features have IGT tasks, and now they are passing, which is great. Hi, Melissa. Uh, so uh, uh, we also have some uh, issues that we are uh, working on. It's still ongoing. We, uh, after introducing all these uh, new composition features on VKMass, some existing uh, synchronization issues blew up. Uh, VBlank, uh, for example, uh, we have in VKMass uh, simulated VBlank. Uh, and then there is a deadlock between the event lock and the timer because uh, that is, uh, how can I say, intrinsic uh, in the current simulated VBlank design. Uh, there is also a race condition between flushing the work queue and destroying the CRTC state. Uh, since uh, we, and then we need to, what we need to do, we already have an idea that we need to prevent a new job to uh, be queuing up in the in time interval. And uh, there is another thing in VKMass by design that is a dependence across the VBlank, blending and CRTC computation. So we need to work on keeping uh, their pace uh, of all these three steps synchronized. And for this, we need to ensure that uh, whenever the, the VBlank tick enables a composition, then we will add a, uh, a composed job to the work queue and then ensure that the, CRT, the CRC uh, computation will happen. Uh, so we also started to work on support uh, other blend modes, uh, pixel blend modes. Uh, we have su we support the default DRM mode, uh, pixel blend mode that is the uh, pre-multiplied. But we are working on other properties, uh, other blend mode properties, uh, and we are currently evaluate again the uh, virtual hardware support to get it rid of the simulated VBlank dependence. And f uh, finally, uh, R2 is working on the NV12 multiplanar format. Uh, so many people uh, in the DRI, DRI community have been contributed to VKMass. Uh, first, uh, we can uh, clap hands to Marius, Brandon, and Jim that sent a proposal to support uh, multiple CRTCs, but also uh, a way to use ConfigFS to set up plain uh, CRC and Composer. Uh, Ellen is making the, I can say that making the DIM developers dream uh, come true with the DIM CI, and uh, she included the VK mass driver uh, in the proposal. And uh, finally, uh, Harry work on a GPU agnostic implementation of our uh, new generic KMS uh, color API for the uh, DIM KMS framework. Uh, so if you want to contribute to VKMS, you can find many ideas in the kernel of the official kernel documentation. Uh, besides that, there are some interesting new things to do on VKMS that might be good a good fit for small projects. One of them is adding a uh, unit test for the composition procedure, composition steps. Uh, and another is fixing all failing tests on IGT that was detected by the DRMCI DR uh, proposed by Ellen. Uh, another thing that we have been discussing in the community is uh, to uh, kind of require VKMS support for new um, APIs and the generic APIs in the DRM KMS framework. But to, uh, yesterday we just discussed it about it. And right now it, it doesn't uh, a good idea because uh, it isn't a good idea because we have also that performance issues and, and sync issues to treat uh, on VKMS. And uh, going deep on VKMS, implementing everything that the GPU is able to do, is capable to do, uh, 
would be quite a lot of effort in software level. So, uh, but we believe that VKMS is, is still a good way to validate and test new features in the DRMKMS framework. Uh, and yeah, I, I already talked about it, but if you want to contribute, uh, you can get in start uh, in the VKMS, uh, checking the driver documentation that you will find how to set up and playing with the driver. Uh, yeah, we uh, not only new features, but we also need uh, more reviewers uh, because I think the diversity of uh, point of views is the key for building uh, good solutions for not only for VKMS, but also for, VK, for the DMKMS framework, that is the proposal of the virtual driver. And uh, as there is a close relation between VKMS and IDT, uh, one can benefit from the improvements that we do in the other. So it makes sense to increase the coverage of IDT tests and uh, improving the whole uh, DRMKMS framework uh, validation. And is it, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Thank you for uh, all the contributors uh, in this time that uh, two years ago that we are not doing a status update for VKMS. And yeah, questions? So for someone who's not too involved in the graphics world, can you give some examples of where VKMS is being used in, that you know of? Uh, I know Weston is uh, using VKMS, uh, and uh, as VKMS has a right back connector, we can use it in a headless machine to validate things. Another usage would be uh, for uh, AI GPUs that we need a way to uh, assess uh, logging and things like that, and we need uh, KMS drivers, but we don't we don't need we don't have the the head and the driver, the monitor, the display way, so we can uh, pass on uh, through it uh, using VKMS, and yeah, and also for to validate the the helpers and the functions on the the DRM KMS framework in general. Without the need, you, you know, uh, one of the, one thing is that it's a GPU agnostic uh, way to validate it, so it's not. Uh, and another thing that was uh, propo proposed by Harry is to validate the the color features, uh, the the mathematical function. Uh, work of that, but not necessarily how the GPU uh, process the color transformation. It's, yeah, some of the examples I can mention. Okay, thank you.